Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you about installing a Hexo theme. And a theme in Hexo is basically just a set of HTML and CSS and JavaScript files that defines the look and the feel and the layout of your website. By default, Hexo ships with a theme. When I download Hexo, it's shipped with this landscape theme. And if you look over here on the website, that's the theme that's currently being used. And so this theme is a pretty solid theme and it works really well. But if you want to use a different theme, you can actually just uh, download and install one and then you can start using one right away. And what's cool is that once you switch the theme, you don't have to switch any of your content files. The theme will automatically know what to do with all of them. The way that we can install a new theme is uh, first we need to find a theme to install. Over here I am at this official themes page for Hexo. It's hexo.io forward slash themes. And this is, like I said, the official page for Hexo themes. And there's 148 themes right now. So there's a lot of different themes. And if you just kind of scroll through, you can see all of these uh, different themes. And if you click on one, you can see a demo. So just by clicking on this theme, I'm now loading up a demo. And now you can basically see what this theme is going to look like. Um, and so instead of having all of this example content, it's going to have your content. And this one's not working for some reason. So this is another theme that we can look at. And basically what you want to do is just look through all of these themes and try to figure out which one you like. And so you can kind of see what's the look and the feel of all these different themes. How are they displaying different content? Um, and you can kind of see like how your content might fit into one of these themes. Once you found a theme that you like, uh, and I kind of like this alpha dust theme, you just want to click on the name of the theme. So I'm just going to click here and this is going to bring us to a GitHub page and GitHub is just a website where people can store different, uh, folders and files. And right here we have the GitHub page for this uh, alpha dust theme. And all of these themes that you look at are going to have a GitHub page just like this. And so when you pick a theme that you want to use, scroll down and you want to look at this readme.markdown file. And this file is usually shown by default on the themes homepage on, you know, right here. And you want to just scroll down and look to see what the different features and the different libraries and, and even just some installation instructions on this theme. You can also figure out how you can configure the theme. So all the themes are pretty much doing the same thing, which is just wrapping your hexo content and displaying it in a certain way. But some themes can do some things and others, can't do other things. So you want to make sure you read up about the theme that you're using and that way you're informed and you know what you can and can't do with the theme. When you do pick a theme and you want to install it, what you want to do is come over here to this clone or download button and click and we're just going to copy all of this paste that's in this text box right here. And basically what we want to do is clone this repository into our themes folder. So back over in my text editor, I'm just going to open up a terminal window and inside this terminal window I just want to type git clone and then I want to paste the code that I just downloaded and let me zoom out here and then right after here we just want to put the name of the folder that we want to store this in so I'm gonna say themes forward slash and I think the name of the theme was alpha dust so I'm just gonna say alpha dust and then click enter and what's going to happen is git is going to start running and it's going to go out to github and it's going to grab all those files that we just saw on the other page and it's going to make this new folder called alpha dust or whatever you decide to name your theme so now you if you click down you can see that we have all of these files and these are all the files that the alpha dust theme uses to display all of our content so you don't really have to worry about messing around with anything in here um, once you download the theme, then you have everything that you need. We just need to do one more thing, which is head over to this config.yaml file. And at the bottom of this config.yaml file, there's going to be a variable down here called theme. And right now, theme is set to landscape. And if you remember, landscape was the default theme that we used for Hexo. 
To use your new theme, you just have to type in the name of that theme. So alpha hyphen dust, that was what we did. And generally, whenever you modify this config file, you want to restart your Hexo server. I have my Hexo server running right here. I'm just gonna restart it. And now when I come over to my website, instead of using this landscape theme, it's gonna use this alpha dust theme. And so you can see it looks kind of similar to how it looked before. We still have like this blog post here and we have um, this categories page up here and recent posts. But it, it, the entire look and feel of the website is a lot different. So that's essentially how you install a new theme. It's really easy and you can store as many themes inside of this theme folder as you want. So you could have four or five themes in there and all you have to do to switch between them is just check, is just toggle this uh, variable. So change the variable to the new theme name. So that's an overview of using themes in Hexo. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.